Look at us go, traveling in style on the mainland and everything. Oh, it kind of makes me want to go to other regions now with this kind of, like, travel speed. Anyhow, let us head on over here to Lakeview Manor. We'll just scare the shit out of Ilya. There we are, good. Here's the manor. As you command, Mudawa Goat. Goat. I love goat. <laughs> I'm surprised there's not, like, an animation or anything where you see them eating a goat. Wow, cool. Look at what happened to Prayer Maple. <laughs> How the fuck did that even happen? When we had last left, the last dragonborn, following their amazing adventures on the mainland, or on the- <laughs> Fuck the other way around. Following their amazing adventures on the frigid island of Solstheim, just off the coast of Morrowind and Skyrim land, they finally returned back to Skyrim land, the mainland of Tamriel. They were there. It was time now to continue adventuring there, where they went into a cave. And what was inside? A cool-looking bug. And then they traveled to Riften and learned about fish. Now it was time to follow up on fish and perhaps demons. This is the Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Welcome back. Oh my god, did you just see that person do a flip? <laughs> Was that what that was when I zoomed in and like they instantly got put into the field of view So then the game was like oh shit fix it. We got it. We got to prepare the scene prepare the scene <laughs> Stop rendering in low detail and all that to save on resources start rendering them <laughs> Is that what that was? Anyway Goodness gracious it was brought to my attention by not just myself, but also viewers like you uh, that Holy shit, I forgot to even check in at the Thieves Guild. But also, like I said, we did inventory management. Uh, we've got Rallis set up a little bit. I don't know if I... Let's see, let's shove him a bit here. Or I guess we can whip out the torch or our wizard's light. There we go. But yeah. I kind of like the idea of the Dwarven male. I think it's called Dwarven rather than Dwemer. But the Dwarven male chess piece... I think it looks great, you know? I'm a big fan of all the the looks on these um, Elder Scrolls Blades armors as they've been ported over to this. But I'm not entirely sold on the gauntlets. And I definitely wasn't sold on the boots, so I gave them Thieves Guild boots. And I don't really like the Thieves Guild gloves on, on it either. I feel like they need to be full gloves because the Thieves Guild ones, they have like exposed fingers. And whatnot. I feel like it, I need, like, full leather gloves. But nonetheless, we're kind of assembling the idea of a look for Rallis. But uh, very much enjoying kind of trying to slowly piece it together. I gave him two Dwemer swords just in case, right? That way he can go around with something better than his fists of fury. Azura's wisdom to Now also, friend. let's see here. Whatever the inventory said, management, boss. like I said. I gave him a shitload of iron and all of our steel. <laughs> and I, too, am carrying around a whole bunch of it. I stowed away much of our stuff, but I'm carrying around the Ajidal set. And quite a bit of... Well, honestly, I probably don't need the leather, do I? <laughs> That'll be the first thing to go. But I am carrying around... Well, shit, what am I carrying around? Honestly, this is not what I thought... <laughs> This is what I thought I was carrying around. What has happened? <laughs> I thought I was carrying around more iron. Huh. Weird. I didn't think I was carrying this around. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, well, this stuff, uh, I have the goal of we will go to our Falkreath homestead, Hearthfire home, and deposit it all there, right? We've got all this stuff ready to go there. All these heavy amulets just as well. We need to get those stored and stowed. Right? And I'm thinking, because in between videos when I was, like, selling stuff off to vendors and whatnot in town, I heard a dragon, and we might be able to catch a ride over to Falkreath real quick and easy. 
Okay, specifically directly to our house. Anyway, let us check in with what's her butt. Let's see, where even are you? Hmm. Yeah, I guess I have a minute. I'm assuming no one else Need has anything something. to say though, right? Go and Need something. Like I guess maybe Brynjolf would say something. What's going on? But I doubt sure, it. Sure, we can talk a minute. Let's see. I'm sure. No, nothing. Brian. You're making you waves mean? around here. I like that. Keep to the shadows. Do you ever want to talk hey, about it? Bring you off. You let to me see know. a lot. No. How are things? Oh, yes. You were abandoned, huh. huh? Are you sleeping? Yeah. Is this you? Yeah, what there you it? are. Well, hey there. <gasps> what can so, Sapphire do for you? Wow, okay. I think this belongs to you. Give Glover's letter, right? Remember Glover Mallory from Solstheim? They were related. I... I can't believe it. All those years on the farm, and my mother never told me about any of this. Words can't even begin to describe how much I appreciate you bringing this to me. Here, take this. I used to carry it for good luck, but I think you deserve it more than I do. Oh, isn't this your fucking namesake, though? <laughs> Sapphire, I'm just gonna turn this into like a fucking ring or throw it in a treasure chest and forget about it. <laughs> okay, yeah, I promise. I'll keep it, I'll, I'll, I'll honor it. Yield. I'll hold it close to my heart. Okay. That said, did it say it was exquisite? Is that what that said? Yeah. Huh. Am, am I imagining things or is that nor not normal? Yeah, look. Look at the value on it. Yeah, it's worth more than diamond. Holy shit, is this a hint that they're bringing back like in Elder Scrolls 6? Are they thinking about bringing back the, like um, what would you call it? The exquisite, extravagant Grandmaster, you know, all, all those tiers? I'd be down for that. Huh. Okay. Because yeah, normally exquisite does not exist in Skyrim. Or maybe it's just a one-off fun reference to, right, once again, Morrowind. Okay, nonetheless, let's head on up. Cross your fingers for a dragon. Like I said, I've, I've been hearing one. It may show up or we may just continue to hear it in the distance. Who can say? Alas, we do need to go back over to the fishery and actually follow up on these quests and whatnot. Grab a blessing here just as well. All right, good, good, good. Maybe when we zone out of here, Dragon will show up. Maybe it won't ever show up. Maybe it knows. Maybe it knows what we're up to. Word has spread. Okay. Boom. There we are. And we need to speak with the person who gave us the bounty. No lollygagging. There we are. Oh shit, you're gone. You have vanquished a great evil from Scott. Or is that... Hmm. Okay. You have saved this land and our No, you're source. over on this side. Okay. Good. All right. Hello there. Need something? I see you hired someone to catch a juvenile mud crab, but they never returned. I love I really love how we're like carrying the weight now in the conversations, right? It's like such the the inverse where we're like <laughs> normally in the core game we'd be like I read the letter, or I read your bounty. And then she'd be like, oh yes, as you can see, uh, I hired someone, and then she would give us the recap, but instead it's the other way around. <laughs> it would seem so. <laughs> I wouldn't mind taking over the bounty. I don't have time to help right now, maybe some other time. I wouldn't mind taking over the bounty. Thanks. Good luck out there. Okay. Obtain a juvenile mud crab. Very well. Now, I do actually need to read this other item. What is it again? Read the list of fair weather fish. Oh, dear. Fish. Okay. Oh, this is from swims in deep water or something inside of the fishery. Ours has dreamt of these waters many times filled with strange, exotic fishes from all over Skyrim. No, not fishes. 
friends. Well, at least until they're harvested and sold as food. We have a business to maintain, after all. Friendships can only go so far before gold gets in the way. The fish in my dream seem to be okay with this arrangement. Oh, did he? Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Yeah, sure. <laughs> and he rarely lies to me. And so, with his blessing, I will teach you to catch these fish. And in exchange, you will bring them here. What the fuck? What a wild ass, like, prompt for beginning our fishing adventure. Yo, you are dreaming about fish, okay? Here is a list to start with. Carp, glassfish, goldfish, pogfish. They are fair weather fish and should be easy enough to catch. Even so, please read the first volume of Fishing Mastery written by yours truly. A copy should be sitting on a shelf in the back room of the fishery. When you are done, return to me and we will find our new friends a home and you some coin. <gasps> oh my gosh, what a fishing adventure. Okay, we won't read it yet. We'll pick it up though, and we'll read it at the end of this. Okay, over here, good. And we did see it. I remember expressly seeing it. Oh, nice. All right. Line and lure? Ooh, that's a new one. Okay. Notice our quest one has no weight. Hmm. Okay. I'm taking it. Should we take line and lure? Hmm. Fuck it, I'm taking it. We definitely have not read that. Okay. Anything else? Oh shit, I took the knife. <laughs> okay. I do want inside of this, though. There we are. Beautiful. What have you got for me? Ooh, 260 and some refined malachite. Okay. Really should not be taking that, but I can't help myself. Oh, do you think as we do these fishing quests, these will get populated? Oh, I bet that's exactly what's going to happen. Oh, neat. I'm looking forward to it. Okay. Very good. Let's see. Yeah, juvenile mud crab. Didn't this say, yeah, Broken Fang Cave? And it was somewhere near Whiterun, huh? Oh, yeah. Jeez. Somewhere near Whiterun. Okay, fuck me. It's a little bit further than that, I would say. Eh, we can do it. Sure. Why not? Let's remove our marker here. I guess we can go all the way to Whiterun and then run the, the rest of the way. Okay. I was also thinking uh, we need to put on high priority uh, our mission to go and seek out Watch a fun new shield, up. you know? Okay. Let's see. I guess we can just cut over here, huh? You know, let's pop up this. Oh, I was hoping I would make it into the ship. Or the little rowboat, even. Okay. Oh, there we are. At least the water's not freezing cold, huh? Not like on the island. Oh, shit. I want that. <laughs> okay, good. Now, let's take a carriage all the way over to Whiterun. Take to any of the hold capitals. Where do you want to go? Let's go to Whiterun, friendo. There we Climb are. And back. I think we'll we also have a Thieves Guild quest up there just as well. We can hit that oh, up while we're stadium. at it. Good, good, good. Okay. We may have been able to travel to Rorikstead, actually. I'm not sure. Okay. Good stuff. I can't even remember at this point. <laughs> we're, we've been uh, gone from the mainland for long enough that I've just forgotten exactly how fucking anything works. <laughs> okay, let's see. Should I pawn off a few the of these? The warm sand of elsewhere is far away from here. Kajita's wares, if you have coin. 
Whoa. I've heard you've been running into trouble along the road. It is all in this note. The balance of power. Rasad's note on bandit attacks. Huh. I bet this is also Creation Club stuff, Take huh? A look. Okay. Still, good to pick that up, because, frankly, forgot it was even in existence. <laughs> oh, should we take these other fishing maps? We may as well buy them, even if we don't read them immediately. Okay. Good. Anything else here that I should pick up? The Blessings of Sheogorath. I don't know if I've read that one before. Okay. Anything else? Heretical thoughts. Yeah, these may be from Saints and Seducers. We've definitely read Saints and Seducers in Oblivion. The actual book. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna buy an ultimate healing and I'm gonna sell off some other trash. Like, for example, Fortify Two-Handed. Let's get rid of that. I'll take the hit. May your road lead you to warm sand. You too, friendo. Let's head on up and out. We can rest a bit until daylight. That way we're not sleepy. Like I said, who knows? Maybe a dragon will show up. I think if a dragon shows up, we'll hitch a ride over to our Falkreath house. Uh, fucking, what's it called? Lakeview Manor? Yeah, Lakeview Manor. And then I guess we could probably hitch a ride from our carriage driver there. All the way to Rorikstead, right? Ah, look at that. Just if we happen to find a dragon along the way. Alright. Over here. We'll do a quick rest inside. Get ourselves all ready for a lovely, fun adventure. What do you need, my thing? Oh there, Lydia. I just need a sleep. Let's go for five hours. Seven AM? That seems fine. That'll do. Lovely. And I'll munch on a salmon. Alright. Let's head on down and out. Good. Long life to you, Thane. You know what? If there were, like... If you could get the goggles on... Or the, like, glasses or whatever the fuck they are... On the... Chitin armor... I would totally give that to Rallis. Right? <laughs> If you could have, like, chitin goggles or whatever, just as their own item, not without the rest of the helmet. That way, you know, we can still kind of see, like, uh, his the rest of his facial expressions and whatnot. I would totally go for that. 100%. Alright. Prior Mabel should be out here. Let's see. There you are. Oh. Going down like this. Good. Nah! Lovely. Oh, shit. Ooh. <laughs> all right. It's all good. Let's see. Let's bring up our map. And then, yep, if we just head westward, we should be A-OK. -okay. Lovely. Wow, look at this. It's been a while since we've been on these roads, huh? Fucking A, man. OK. Let's do a quick save just as well, just in case something goes horrifically wrong. Okay. Cool. I love it. Here's a question. If you start... If you're, like, partway through the Dragonborn quest line, does that increase the odds of you encountering cultists back on the mainland? Like, if you go to Soulsime and then come back to the mainland before you wrap things... Oh, here we go, baby! But does that increase the odds that you're going to find that shit? I feel like that would be the case, but may I don't know, maybe not. Let's see, bend will. Let's do a quick save in case we miss. Oh yes! Well, hang on, hang on. This one, I think this one's chill. How can I serve? Okay, let's go, let's go. Woohoo! <laughs> All right, beautiful. I love it. I wonder if Prior Mabel will follow us now. Fuck yes. Look at us go, traveling in style on the mainland and everything. Oh, it kind of makes me want to go to other regions now. This kind of, like, travel speed. Anyhow, let us head on over here. 
to Lakeview Manor. Here we are. We'll just scare the shit out of Ilya. There we are. Good. Here's the manor. As you command, Mudawa Goat. Goat. I love goat. <laughs> I'm surprised there's not, like, an animation or anything where you see them eating a goat. Wow, cool. Look at what happened to Prairie Maple. <laughs> How the fuck did that even happen? What happened here? I thought I saw her on the ground earlier. Prairie Maple, how'd you get up there? <laughs> this is a new development. <laughs> Can I, like, scream her down, maybe? Look at that. I can't even... What are you standing on? One of the branches or something? Maybe we can scream her down. Because we will, like, legit, now that we're in the area, we'll, we need to make use of Prior Mabel's services. Oh! <laughs> it worked! Perfect! Beautiful, I love it. Alright, just chill there. Get your health back. I need to go in here and just rapidly stow some... Okay. <laughs> I'm going to stow this shit too. Okay. <laughs> Great. Let's see. We'll just dump everything inside of this treasure chest and then, like, in between videos, as another point as where we're in the wisdom area, to you, friend. we'll, uh, we'll take care of business. Whatever here. you say, boss. Let's see. We'll take all this. Good. Okay. Mephala Lovely. Cloak you. And then. Pop it in here. Good. Man, being able to ride on dragons is going to be so good. Like, it, it was getting to the point, right, where it was, like, annoying whenever a dragon would start to pop up because it was... They just kind of become... Even the legendary dragons, less of a cool fight, more of a nuisance. Right? We're, we've gotten that powerful. And shit, our power has only really grown. But now? Holy shit. That's a fucking Uber. <laughs> Now, that's just fucking traveling time. Oh my gosh. Alright, have I stowed everything that I do desire? I mean, I guess I could get rid of all these just as well. Hmm. Anything else here? Oh yeah, the Ajidal set. How could I forget? Okay. Well, let's store actually the, the masks. Right? We don't... I'm pretty sure the... The Dragonborn masks are not... Well, maybe I want to carry them around and just plant them there. Right? Next time we're in the area near that shit. Maybe I want to plant them at the uh, little Hootenanny. You know, at Labyrinthian. Just for fun, you know, just to have them there. You can get back to that, right? After you finish all that? I don't know if I ever actually finished that way back in the day. Hey, Ilya. Need, my friend? Oh, we should have brought, like... Some cool robes for Ilya, like Mirax robes or whatever, or the cultist robes or some shit. Oh, or some, some Dunmary finery for Ilya to wear. I bet she would appreciate that. Okay. Let's stow all this. Good. Cool. Okay. Lovely. Look, our carry weight, looking beautiful, frankly. Okay. Cool. You wouldn't know that that's a cool DLC set of armor by looking at it, but it is. Okay, over here, and let's sort by weight. This should be weightless, right? <laughs> this is weightless, right? Because it's a quest item, huh? I think so. Okay, I'll stash that right there. And then... What else did I have that I wanted to stash in here? Shit me. Okay. Oh, right. All of these for the sake of crafting. Okay. And I guess we don't really need the Ajidal other equipment. Okay. Good. Do I want to stow this? It does weigh 11 units. Yeah, I'll stow it. Okay. Beautiful. Good, good, good. Okay. And then where's our little alchemy zone? It's upstairs, isn't it? Okay, over here. Sorry, Elia, just doing a quick drop-off. Alright, any of these will do, I suppose. Shove them all up in there. 
Yeah, when I did uh, inventory management, I bought up mm. all the ingredients from vendors around town. Happened to be some void salts at the Alchemist, right? Very useful. Okay. Good, good, good. Now, let's be on our way over to our objective, right? To get a fun little mud crab. Oh, fuck me! You know what I forgot to do in Whiterun? The Thieves Guild shit! Oh, shit me! I mean, I... Hmm... I guess it's still on the menu, right? It's still possible for us to do that. Yeah, because we can take this carriage over to Rorikstead and run eastward and then keep going east until we hit White Run, And then we can go over here and return to Kshar. For I don't know why we would do that. I don't know what that's about, but <laughs> we could go look for fishes or something. Shit, I don't know. Okay. Let's go on over here. Who's Char? What is that about? I was tracking this thing for meet with Kesh or whoever it was. Oh shit, did it untrack it? Oh, where is that? Oh dear. Huh, is it gone? What happened? What in the world? I must I must just be like skipping over it here. Cause I'm like trying to quickly scan through the text. Huh. Yeah, it was like meet with Kesh at some fucking place or wherever. Oh there we go, find Kesh at Periite Shrine. Okay, where is that at? Oh shit, it's way up here? Ooh! Okay. Hmm. Alright, we can still do our plan. We'll still do our plan. Look, full steam ahead. Where Take me to Rorikstead. Let's see. So <laughs> Sorry, Prior Mabel, I got rid of your fun tree climbing adventure. Climb and back. For no good we'll reason. Okay, over ready here. I am ready, let's do it! Good stuff. All right. Cool. There we are. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's gorgeous. Okay. Did Prior Mabel arrive here just as well? Yes, she did. Beautiful. Oh, look. Let's also pick these while they've regrown. Sure, they look really nice when they're regrown like this, but... You know, wheat is pretty useful as far as ingredients are concerned, so I don't really mind it looking like dog shit over here. <laughs> it does look really nice when they're all stood up like that, right, as you're going along. It's beautiful, honestly. But you know what's more beautiful than that? Having more fucking shit in my inventory. <laughs> Just clogging that shit up. That's beauty. <laughs> okay. Let's see, where is our little friend at? Oh, it'll be over here. Kind of to the southeast. East, southeast. Okay. I guess that's it right there that we're kind of going dead ahead toward. Very well. Man, maybe we should have rested in Rorik's deck, because his, like, fucking darkness is descending upon the land. Goodness gracious. Okay. Here we are. It's very eerily quiet. <laughs> it's very unsettling. I gotta say, it's fairly unsettling right now. I don't know. <laughs> I miss having some of the ambience and all of that of Solstheim. Oh, there we go. The occasional, like, Silt Strider. In the distance. I miss it. Oh, here we go. Oh! <gasps> The ghost crab. For real? This is it? Isn't this where, like, the gigantic one is chilling at? Or maybe not. Okay. Well, nonetheless, let's go say hello. The phantom crab. Oh, they are peace loving? <gasps> Such serenity. Oh, no! I walked into them. Oh, Rallis is pissed as shit, too. Okay. Good. 
I mean, there's a giant dead crab, huh? Is this one fightable? The phantom crab? Look, phantom crab, you're beautiful and everything, but right now, I'm lacking verbs to interact with the world. And kill is at the top of the fucking list, baby. Oh, it's Sir Crab a lot! Oh, someone told me about this. In fact, probably multiple people told me about this, but I'm just a fool. Okay. On guard, Sir Crabalot. Can I loot you? A summoner's note. Sir Crabalot, you have been <laughs> or Sir Crabalot, you have been summoned once again from the fray. Your reign of terror upon the living shall never end. Signed, S.P. and T.A. Who's that? S.P. and T.A.? Do you think those are in reference to real names or, like, in-game stuff? Like, how funny are we getting with <laughs> Sir Crabalot, right? Are these, like, developer initials or are these, like, in-game, in-world character initials? S.P. and T.A. Who would be interested in reigning terror upon the living? I can't think of any off the top of my head. Huh. Okay. Chalk one up for the old, uh, to look up on the old UESP engine there. Okay. Look at this. What a beaut. Ooh. I'll take these bits of chitin. Look at this cool dude. This is the fucking cool dude zone. Okay. Little baby mud crab here. Thank you. Oh. You know what would be fucking awesome is if when we did that, the giant one began to rise and awaken. <laughs> right? The ground started to shake. <laughs> there we are. Good. Fuck me. Maybe I should have given Rallus some worse weapons. I, like, smid them up with, like, a, a marginal upgrade and whatnot. Okay. Maybe I should have kept him on, on unarmed. <laughs> right? Maybe I should have left him that way. <laughs> I mean, you know. Hey. Oh, shit. <gasps> Bounty juvenile mud crab. Right? They really are here dead. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this is it. Wow. Okay. Fuck me. A dead adventurer killed by Sir Crabalot, I guess. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Let's check our shit here. Yeah. Let's be off on our way over to Whiterun, I suppose. Oh, look. Can we get some of this fun stuff going on, though? Poof! There we are. Good. Oh, yes. Give me these. Give me that. Where'd the lunar moth wings go? The only trouble with doing this, I just realized... Because it is the the trouble with it is that we're not activating our perk, right? We're not getting double down on all these. Hmm. Where'd the where'd the moth wing go? Huh. Weird. I thought we had gotten one in the blast, but maybe not. I could have sworn we did. It's probably here. It's just blending in very well with the with the ground, because, you know, everything has taken on, like, a greenish-blue, seafoam green kind of look. Okay. Sure. Oh, here we go. Oh, and we got two of them, actually. Hmm. Okay. Maybe we don't get double on the, the torch bug wings. Maybe it actually accounted for that? I have no idea. All right. Well, let's head on back over to Prior Mabel. Good. Nah! Lovely. Oh, look at that. Fucking Macer looking massive as ever. Or Masser? Macer. I think it's Macer, right? I feel like it's. it feels like Macer, you know? I feel like I've heard NPCs say Macer. Alright. 
Let's continue on our way. Look, there's a cave here that we've never even explored. That's incredible, just how much how much time we've put into the playthrough, despite the fact that there's still so much left. <laughs> All right. It's a, it is genuinely incredible in, like, a really uh, enticing and exciting way for me. All right. Over here. If we just keep heading over this way. Yeah, we don't need to follow the road. We're good. All right. Lovely, lovely. Look at the mammoths out here chilling. Good. Okay. It is wild to think about a world in which there are silt striders on Skyrim and stuff. You know? Because sure, it's, it's like a big cool thing where you're like, whoa, these mammoths and giants, they're huge. They're out here chilling and stuff. But if you think about it, imagine if you saw... Whoa, okay. Okay. <laughs> That's one heck of a quest update. All right, I guess uh, I'll I'll bite. Okay. Where is this fucking thing at? Oh, down this way. Free the Elytra Nymph. Well, for the uninitiated, this is very much tied to saints and seducers. Very clearly. Because Elytra, they were all over the place. They were the ones that wiggled a whole bunch in a really well. Most of the things did that in <laughs> in the in the Shivering Isles. Most of the things would wiggle in a very strange and uh, terrifying way if you casted paralysis on them. But Elytra, they were one of them, right? They were the bug lords. Okay. Speaking of, uh, I was about to say Silt Striders, totally outclassing them in size. Oh look, this is it. Oh weird. Are we gonna see like a? A fresh take on Elytra? The Skyrimification of Elytra? Oh shit. Defeat the Saints Bandit Leader. Wait, what? Who are you? you. Close oh, I was... This is not what I was expecting. Okay. <laughs> it's just like the Third Street Saints or something. Alright, fine. Pew 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 pew! Gotcha. Good. Oh, need to munch. Oh, look, they are wearing some saint armor, though. Look at that. Yeah, every so... One of these pieces every now and then. Alright. Good. Ugh. Gotcha. Okay. Cool. I guess we should take this cool new armor, huh? Oh, the bow and everything. All right, I didn't even notice that. Wow, fuck me. Good thing we cleared out our inventory, huh? Okay. Hey, maybe we should get Rallus set up in this. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it would look very odd in it. Because if I remember correctly, it... Like, if you wear it, it's, it's fairly horny, right? Okay. Wow, alocasia fruit. Holy shit. Should I just eat it right here on the spot? Fuck yes. I wonder if it does the same thing. It can't be because there's new stats and whatnot. Oh, how does this look? Oh, it's like a weird little bird's head. <laughs> okay. Cool. I don't believe in, uh, in the Shivering Isles they had maces like this. In fact, I'm not even sure if any of them used maces. I think they just used swords exclusively. I'm not sure, though. How do the shoes look? Maybe the shoes look cool, right? I know the chess piece is going to be horny as shit, though. Okay. The shield. Ooh, the shield ain't half bad looking. It's very familiar just as well. Okay. Notes on the blacksmith. Saints and seducers. Saints bandits. Bandit leader's journal. Scaled. Oh, Watcher's Eye. Ah, there we go again. Yes. Let's eat that. I should not have eaten that. <laughs> what a noise. Okay. Sure. <laughs> All right. Uh, should we read their journal real quick? I guess so. Oh, no, wait. We got a quest update to do it. Okay, so we're good. We'll just hold off for now. Ooh, there's my Night Eye taking effect. Very well, got a loot out here. 
Ooh, I do not like the night eye effect in this. It's like, it's enhanced the. Of course, there's cheese out here. It, but it has enhanced the effect of my sleepy time. All right, over here. Pop this open. What have we got? Ah, golden saint armor. Right. Okay. Saints, bandits, cage key. Oh, golden arrows. I almost didn't even notice. Wow, the quiver looks rad. Okay. It looks as though it is from the holy land of Lordran. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Oh, chosen undead. Please take this horny armor. <laughs> Okay. Oh, the Golden Saint Sword. Oh, you know what? Maybe Rallus would be down for this. That's kind of a look. That's kind of, it's kind of a cool look. All right, we're going to take it. Oh, and look, someone's fucking butt or whatever the hell. Their bladder? <laughs> I guess it's not butt. Someone's, like, poop factory? I'm eating it. Wow, it's good for me. It didn't even make, like, wow, I would have expected the weirdest noise to come from eating that, but hey. <laughs> Let's see, what were they eating? Oh, shit. Oh, this is, okay, never mind. Oh, gosh. I'm, oh, oh, jeez. <laughs> okay. Oh, this is the elytra. Of course it's manic. Let's get a good look at it. Fuck, it looks rad as shit. Okay. I love it. I'm actually going to do a save here in case I want to get a screenshot of it for the... For the thumb. Oh, God. I don't like that it's... Okay. <laughs> I was like, whoa, shit, am I about to crash? <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa. Look at its beautiful ass now. Okay. Do you get this as a pet? A bug? Did the bandits lock you up? Are you okay? Did they hurt you? Aren't you an adorable little bug? I wonder why they kept you caged. You're a weird one. But still, only the third strangest thing I've met this week. A giant bug crab. I would not describe this as being crab-like at fucking all. Come on. Do we not even know what a crab looks like? Are you fucking serious? A crab? What the fuck? <laughs> this is not a crab. We just fought a million crabs. This is not one of them. This is like a praying mantis spider. All right. Uh, anyway, I really need to stop drinking the skooma. Yeah, because we can't even tell what a crab is and isn't. All right, yeah, you are very cute. Do you want to come with me? I can't just leave you here. Maybe you could follow me. Still, I wouldn't mind keeping you as a pet. What do you say? I think you're kind of cute. Do you want to be my pet? Well, you're free. Good luck out there. Do you want to be my pet? On second thought, never mind. You're disgusting. All right, let's go. <laughs> On second thought, never mind. Ew. Stomps the shit out of it. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Oh, Teleport pet. Manic Elytra Nymph. What do you think, Gordon? Is this a friend? Is this a cool friend? Wow. Also grumbles. Neat. Does this creature also follow me? Oh dear god, are we going to have a menagerie following us? Just a herd of little guys following us around? Look! It's dancing with Gordon! <laughs> Do I want this? <laughs> Do I want to live this life? I, I look on in silence as the both of them are there. Do I want to live the life in which I have a bajillion little fucking dudes following me around? I don't know if I do. I feel like Gordon is more than enough and also takes up plenty of space and causes plenty of chaos. Do I really want a bajillion little dudes everywhere? Because what? We could, all, could we also have like the bone hound right now? Hold up. No, we couldn't. Okay. Maybe we we unsummon it. Okay, that that does the opposite of what I was expecting. Okay. Oh, wait for me. Wait, let's harvest some venom. 
What? <laughs> what? <laughs> hey, hey, little bud. Let's harvest some venom. Oh, I got it from you. Okay. <laughs> I need help in battle. Ooh. Its butt exploded on me. What did it do to me? Companion's insight? No. Elytra's uplifting aura. Wait. Targets won't flee for five minutes and get extra health and stamina. Oh, I'm the target. Okay, so I now have extra health and stamina. I see. Oh, look, and also this. Fortify stamina. R rally. Okay. But these are all giving us... I'm assuming the extra health and stamina is stacking. Right. So what the hell is my health even at now? I don't know. It can't be that much because our stamina has only gone up by 10. Maybe that's it. Maybe it's a 10 point increase. Okay. Uh, wait for me at home. Oh, shit. Whoa, you can go to Severin Manor? Oh, fuck me. I mean, Severin Manor is definitely my favorite of the locations, of the homes, right? For obvious reasons, because I'm such a fucking sucker for that. But at the same time, we will not see it that often, you know? Hmm. You know, if we had fast travel, then sure. But we don't. Huh. Maybe we need to settle for Lakeview Manor. There you go. Damn. You are loud. How come you walk around like a RTS unit? <laughs> this motherfucker is walking like a StarCraft II Colossus. What is going on? <laughs> okay, sure. <laughs> Let's go on out of here, huh? Let's equip this. Here, Rallis, do you want one of these fun As swords? Has wisdom to you. Whatever you say, boss. Let's see here. Maybe I'll give you both of these, right? There we are. Do you like that, Rallis? It's barely fucking noticeable. <laughs> okay, cool. Well, this was fun. This was enjoyable. What a fun, quaint little adventure out here. Wow. Oh, shit. Look. Note on Manic Elytra Nymph. What is the note? We found a buyer for the strange creature we've hauled all the way from. Well, best not to say. Not a day too soon as its chittering keeps waking me up at all hours of the night. Just a few more days. If the coin is worth it, we'll have to go back for more of these things. Oh, shit. Did they actually go in? To the Shivering Isles? Or maybe there's, like, a place where a whole bunch of them, s like, spilled and spewed out into the world. Hmm. Okay. Hang on. Actually, Rallis, yes, how do the gloves look on you? Maybe they would be a good, say, uh, wait, thing to accompany your other shit. Oh, they're heavy, though. Oh? No, okay, yeah, we gotta take your old stuff. Whatever you say, boss. No, it really does not match. Okay. Let's see. Here, take your weird shit there, friendo. Good stuff. Now, if you'll excuse me. Okay. Let's get some of that. Okay. Cool. Wow. Holy shit. We got a bunch of stuff to read now. Goodness. I didn't think it was right out here and that I would be hit with like a little alert, but I don't know. It feels good to have just been wandering around and get that quest uh, pop up and whatnot. That was fun. Oh look, I'm still sparkling from the Elytra's beautiful blessing from its butt. Oh. Okay. Oh shit. Look at this dickhead. Uh, donk. <laughs> oh look, are these uh, the ghost lords? Yeah, it's the Dulahan. This is what, the second or third time we've seen it in this playthrough? Yeah. Okay. Neat. Cool. Wow. What a fucking hashtag blessed night. <laughs> okay. Good. Wow. 
If only I could go a little bit quicker and catch up to its beauty and grace. Alas, I'm but a fucking fool. Alright, well, what can you do? Oh look, it's going... Into the ruins? What? Hold up. This is where you go? Can I fight it? Hang on! Oh! <laughs> Can I fight it? Uh, 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 uh. No? Okay. Sorry! Carry on! <laughs> carry, carry on then! <laughs> like I said, I'm running out of verbs here! <laughs> Alright, let's go over to fucking White Run before I try and kill some other cool and beautiful creature. Fuck, it yeah, even when we saw the Elytra, I was like, oh, it'd be cool if we could just say no and stomp the shit out of it. What a fucking monster. Look, going into the black books, it's fucked me up, right? Let's forget about all the other fucked up shit that we did beforehand, right? Like when we ate that guy or we tortured the old man for Moloch Bell. Don't worry about that. It's It, it suddenly happened. <laughs> Out of nowhere. Who could have seen it coming? <laughs> okay. Very well. Oh, up here. Good, good, good. Hey, everyone. Tools, wares, and weapons. All right, all right. Let's claim our wonderful prize. Where do we have to go for this again? Let's see. Oh, Carlotta Valencia's house. Okay. Very well. Let's hit it up. Dude, it is a blue night. This is a blue-ass looking night. Works very good with the torch fire, though, you know? Very clever. Gets you your orange-blue contrast out, of, like, everywhere you look. Okay. Let's see. Where is Carlotta's place? Is it up here? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, sure. Let's do a quick save. And we'll just sneak on inside of here. Oh, shit. And we have to go after three specific items, right? Like the, like, special bejeweled items or whatever. Uh-oh. We're detected by someone or something. Hey, Carlotta. I'm just gonna take your jeweled flagon. Oop. <laughs> And your other shit. <laughs> Sorry, I took your jar too. Whoops. Okay. Good. There we are. Great. <laughs> this game is so cool. <laughs> Alright, good. Here, we'll we'll put her oh look, I'm gonna eat her like weird. Carrots that she keeps under the bed for no good reason, right? Why would she keep them there? Why would Carlotta, of all people, have a bag full of carrots under her bed? <laughs> Sometimes you just get hungry at night, <laughs> you know? <laughs> let's see, uh, let's sort by weight. Put the pot in there. Oh, I'm not trying to use or equip it. Yeah, there we go. Enchanter's primer? Yo, you trying to enchant a carrot? Minor healing. Anything else over here? Got a fork. Okay. Cure disease. Hey, Carlotta. See what ya. do you need, my friend? Oh, I don't need anything. I got everything I need. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Great. Fuck! Am I, like, tripping balls, or is it extra blue? Maybe I'm just so accustomed to how shit looked on Solstheim, like, my god, look at this blue-ass night! It's like I cranked up the saturation on the game or something, but I did not. Look at this! Wow. What a treat. You tried mercenary work? It might suit you. Dog, that's all I know. Alright, let's head on out uh, over here to our wonderful resting place where we can recoup and everything in between videos and whatnot. And we'll end things with a little bit of reading. 
right? Why not? What should we read? I guess we've got our fish story or whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> should we read about fish? I know we just did the Saints and Seducers uh, opening or everything. I don't know. Or at least the Saints part of it. Let's take a peek. Let's see here. Fish. Tell me about fish. Fishing Mastery, Volume 1. Yeah, that's what we need. Oh, and look! There is a very cute fish on the front of it. And on the back. Wow. Two for the price of one? And guess what? I didn't even pay for this book. All right. If you'd like to stick around, we will be doing a little bit of reading. Fishing Mastery, Volume 1. If you'll excuse me, I'm going to take a quick drink real quick, though. Real first. First, real quick. <laughs> Fishing Mastery, Volume 1, by Swims in Deep Water. So, you have decided to learn how to fish. Good for you. It's a noble endeavor, and with plenty of practice, it can be a profitable one. Keep in mind that every journey begins with a single step, one that is usually clumsy and will end with you falling on your face. Wow, what the fuck? That is why, for your first lesson, it's recommended that you stick to calmer skies and fairer climates where the fish will happily bite on even the most unattractive of hooks. This guidebook details four types of fish, that are ideal for beginners. They are most common on a clear day near streams and lakes in the fairer parts of Skyrim, away from snow and ice. The places one can catch these fish are too numerous to mention here, but an excellent way to begin one's fishing journey is to start by casting your line right off the docks near the Riften Fishery into Lake Honrich. Once you've had your fill of lake fish, head west to try your hand at fishing from the river that runs alongside Iverstead. End your journey at Vilmere Inn with aching arms and a full belly. Oh, carp. Wow, are they going to tell me about every fucking fish? Okay. <laughs> Caught in temperate lakes and streams, large in size. Uncommonly caught, seen in fair weather. They say the carp is the Jarl of the Carth River. Who says that? Shut the fuck up. It's the Jarl of the River. Fuck off. Come on. That's a fucking fish. Okay. Royal, stately, in austere. It's a fucking carp. Come on. This sounds like it would taste very tough and chewy, but that is not the case. Eat until your scales swell. Carp are very popular for many reasons. Some even keep them as pets. What the fuck? Are you serious? Is that real? Or is this like, is this like a weird, oh, welcome to the Elder Scrolls world. <laughs> yeah, it's, sometimes we get a little wild here in the Elder Scrolls. That's right. <laughs> We're keeping carp as pets. Or the, do people really keep carp as pets in real life? I, I don't know much about fish or like aquariums, like for real. Maybe, maybe. Anyway, but they are too big for most fish tanks. Better to eat them. <gasps> Glass fish. Caught in temperate lakes, small in size, commonly caught, seen in fair weather. Glass fish are a common fish one can see through like a window. They are not so different than us on the inside. <laughs> what? <laughs> Yo, I love the like extra exposition in this from Swims in Deep Water. <laughs> it's making it. It's making the, the book. The best time to catch them is on a clear day, but if you are lucky, you can catch them on a rainy day as well. Oh shit. While their natural habitats are 
deep subterranean waterways, glassfish can be caught in the open waters of warm, clear lakes when they swim above ground for spawning. They say that if you eat a glassfish, you'll become clear as glass yourself. <gasps> Invisibility. <laughs> okay. Goldfish. Caught in temperate lakes. Do you think this is going to be like our version of a goldfish, right? Like the carp? Or is it going to be like, oh, this, if you eat this one, they say that you'll turn into gold or five septums will magically appear in your pocket. <laughs> All these weird fucking things about fish. I bet you never fucking knew. <laughs> Uncommonly caught, seen in fair weather. Goldfish are known for being kind. Oh, <laughs> they would much rather talk things out than get into a fight. This doesn't mean they will be friends with your book. You will need to woo them like any fish. <laughs> like glass, <fl> glass fish, <laughs> you won't find them in a river. The next time you think you've spotted a septum gleam glistening at the bottom of a small pond, there's a chance it might be a friendly goldfish staring back instead. <laughs> I love this. Pogfish. Also, by the way, look at the like fancy art for all this shit, right? Do you see what I see or did they make? Well, no, that is that a fish right there or is that a a special thing. Either way, there's like a special font thing going on with each of these fish. At first I thought maybe they were all fish, but no. Maybe this is just in the base game. <laughs> At this point, who the fuck knows? <laughs> Alright. Pogfish, caught in temperate streams, large in size, commonly caught, seen in fair and rainy weather. A long, bright fish with silver scales and a claw-shaped mouth. I should ask Viraya what she thinks of a pogfish. Perhaps she likes she might like them as much as mud crab. You can also find a pogfish on a rainy day. Sometimes they are just in a gloomy mood. Pogfish use their powerful fins to swim up and down the rivers of Skyrim, most commonly in the reach. Some spend time fishing along wait, what? Oh, oh, I thought it was saying that the pogfish also did fishing. But no, I misread. Spend some time. <laughs> some some of these fish also fish. This is the fishing fish. <laughs> Spend some time fishing along a stream and your lure will catch the clawed face of a pogfish before you know it. If you manage to obtain all these fish... Congratulations. You have graduated from novice to apprentice. If you are so inclined, feel free to bring proof of your catches to the fishery in Riften. We are always looking for new friends to add to our collection. Aww. Why was this book so fucking good? <laughs> Why was the fucking Fishing Mastery Volume 1 book so fucking good. What the fuck? <laughs> there was such character in it. Wow. <laughs> All right, fuck me. Uh, I suppose when next we come back, maybe we'll have done a little tidbit of inventory management, right? We've got uh, some weird golden saint shit on us. Which we do need to also read at the end of videos and whatnot. I guess I need to craft up a fucking list of shit to read now, don't I? Jeez, just like in the old days and cross it off. Goodness gracious. Alright, until next time, please take care of each other. <laughs>